I'm for Spider No Scooter. This is the Mandy follow up game. Somewhere on that list of things you can watch is one with the name Mandy in it. It was my sister, the lady who introduced me to this game, showing me her style of playing, which is way more aggressive than mine. So I'm going to try one game here, doing everything I can to emulate her style. If you saw it, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, so. Uh, Mandy is not old Mandy as much as I'm old Scooter because she's 11 years younger than I am and I thought it was only fair that I would show you uh, Mandy at nine. Isn't she cute? She hardly has changed a bit since that picture as you can see if you look at it. So I'll gun up my um, my aggressive juices and try to play a game like she plays it. So here we go. She plays two suits too. It's a genetic thing, I'm sure. So far, nothing I'm doing is much different than I would normally do. Just As long as you can play cards off of the ready reserve, the thin blue line here, uh, that's what she's in favor of. And she's in favor of doing it with stuff like this, even if it's expensive. Well, that was a good move anyway, because I got two more out of it. Uh, yeah, and a seven, and an eight, and eight, and nine. Oop, and we don't know for sure whether that's the best eight. She would make me play both of them. So see if that one's any better. Well, it could be. Let me look at this again. Uh, she plays faster than I do, and I, I just can't play any faster than I do. I'm playing too fast as it is for my synapses to keep up. She would definitely do this and this. Now, she frequently says stop and look, but I'm not going to stop long because that, that fits her criteria. That we've almost got a hole. We're one card away from a hole, and she, like I, love holes. So do you see anything else here we can do to be outrageous and play like Mandy? I don't. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> okay, now we got a. I say, now we've got a hole. And holes are good. Wild cards they are. So I guess I can just. Do I need that queen? Well, I could play, couldn't I? That's two plays. And she would definitely do this. Three plays. Six, four plays. Four plays. Um, now, rather than go back and try any of that over again, which she probably would do, she's merciless. She told me that one time that she plays this game sometimes for hours, same game, going back and forth, trying stuff, undoing and re redoing, and eventually always wins. I don't know about that. I mean, she's a truth-telling person, so I'm sure she's right, but I don't know about me playing one game for two or three hours. With the dedication and devotion it takes to defeat Spider-Mac, smartest simple game algorithm on Earth. Tricky to vicious sometimes. So I see nothing else, and she says something like, flip them. What did she say? I forgot. So I flipped them. And she wouldn't let me do that right away. She'd say, wait, wait, maybe there's a better four to play. Well, I don't see any other fours to play, so I'm going to stick with that. I guess I'm already compromising her hyper-competitive play technique, but I'm doing the best I can. I see, should I put this there? I would automatically put that there. She might not, but she approves of that. I sense her approval through the ether. You know from ether? Not the stuff they put on your face when you're having your tonsils taken out, which is the last time I had ether, 1916 or something. I think it was actually 1943. It's wasn't at St. Vincent's Hospital in Sherman, Texas. It was at the other hospital, the one on the hill. The name escapes me. 
If you're a Sherman, Texas person, you know what I'm talking about, which is not all that common. I see. I would do this, but whether she would or not, I don't know. I don't always know what she would do. I would, that's what I call a restack. She doesn't do restacks, nor do I know why. They seem like perfectly logical steps. So I guess this is not a very pure Mandy game I'm playing. False pretense, false pretense alert. Oh, there you go. Where you go, I don't know. She would definitely do that, definitely. And, of course, she would be paid off handsomely for that. Maybe Spider Mac, knowing that I'm standing in for a female uh, spider solitaire player, going a little easy on me. She did really fool us in the last game of that Mandy series. I think we played two or three, I don't remember. But I had the largest loss I've ever had on that game. $580 or something. And uh, that doesn't matter to Mandy. She doesn't care about the money. She's spiritually rich. She just wants to win. Uh, so do I, but you know, I'm, I'm a prudent old guy. She would do that, no doubt about it. No doubt. That was a pure Mandy move. Well, now, got our hold back. Hold back. There's a play. I, I don't think I've quite got her technique because she kept surprising me, suggesting moves that I wouldn't have made. And obviously, I'm making all the moves I would make. But there's a matter of principle here. As always, no matter whose mode I'm playing, I will skip. Now, now here, here, here's a typical Mandy. I would automatically do that. That ace to that two. She would say, well, look at this ace. Check it out, Jack. Although she doesn't call me Jack. We have a mutual friend named Jack, Jack Lipscomb. But there's never any confusion who's the friend and who's the brother. Maybe someday. So, playing scooter-like or Mandy-like, I'm up against a wall here, and I don't feel it moving. If I did, of course, I'd run screaming into the closet. Okay, now I automatically would move this three down to that four. That's when she would say, wait, look, listen, Four could have gone to that five. Who knows what the make any difference. Uh, I can put this on either queen. I think I'll put it on that one out of randomness. Randomness and chaos. The Giggle Brothers. Do you see? Do you see another play? Hmm. Well, she would definitely do that. I mean, she does that stuff all the time. And if I had a nine there, I could move that ten. <laughs> if I had a million dollars, I'd be a millionaire. Yeah, I don't know. I, that's sort of one of my old-style restacks. I'm not sure that's really worthwhile nor necessary. Wait a minute. Stop all that. Let's think about that. If I just... I just, I don't think that was worthwhile. This one, maybe. Okay. Compromise, the name of the game. Right, Paul Ryan? Yeah, well, I'm going to do this. No, I'm not. <laughs> I fooled myself. Or she fooled me. Most of the mistakes I make are her fault, you know. She does the mind control thing and don't see that move, Scooter. And it works. I don't see the move. It's all her fault. So, now, see, I just, like, there you go. There's both a Scooter and a Mandy move. I want to move this queen over there to free up this fairly impressive stack. 
None of that interests her. None of that making stacks better or any of that stuff is in her playing strategy. I don't know why. But I'm, I'm here to learn. So I'm going to do this and then either this or this. I think this. Yeah, and then I can play these guys up here. Move this nine over here. Something about what I just did made me want to scratch. And if you watch the Mandy game, you'll see something sets off scratching in her. He scratches her hand. I've tried it. It's not bad. Hand scratching. There's a, an Airedale over there making sleep noises. I think them as puppy dreams, but maybe not. Why don't you give me a black ace, black heart? Well, oh, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Now that's a scooter move. Doesn't accomplish anything in Mandy's strategy, but I make them anyway, you know? So this is a hybrid game we're playing here. Half Mandy, half Scooter, or maybe different proportions. <laughs> you know what I mean. Or perhaps you don't, because upon contemplation, I don't know what I mean. No, I do. All right, we're down to the last card, last deal. I doesn't see any more plays. Double check myself. The black ace I want up here is totally buried and all that. This one's got two nines on it. Yeah, I'm sure going to be able to move two nines here any minute. So I will cinch up. Last deal. Uh, she doesn't like for me to call these last deal games uh, hospice games. Too negative. Way too negative. I make these moves even though they don't seem to have any purpose just because, as you know, you the cognizanti know that I'm committed to play out the last hand, which I'm not calling the hospice hand, all the way, or as far as I can, as far as I can see. I've noticed watching uh, back these recordings a time or two that sometimes I miss a play or two in the last hand, and um, I bet it's a Freudian slip. It's suppression, some sort of psychological jujitsu. Saves me a dollar if I save a move. Boy, I hold on to this dollar. Do you realize I've lost a lot of money? I'll take a look here to see how much money I can do. 10, 19, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, you rotten four. You're blocking my long stack. If I had a Black Ace, I'd have to commit mayhem. And that's not a pretty sight. So, it, this is 30, 61. Uh, up to 50, it cost me a dollar a piece, 50 moves. Uh, after that, it's $10 a piece. So, that's a hundred, that's oh, $110 on top of the hundred I've already lost. So, that's $210. So that's a pretty big loss for me. So just trying to play like Mandy, I lost again. But she doesn't care. Well, folks, I gave it my best shot. Bow! Don't you think? <laughs>